Hey everyone, this is Just Tech and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I will show you how you can do the fake iOS version or I can say how to edit the iOS version of various iPhones, iPad or iPod touch model. And right now I have a old iPhone 5s and this device last can get the iOS 12.5.5 but I have changed the iOS version of this old device to the latest iOS 15. You can check on the screen it has the iOS 15.0.2 and the other build number for the iOS 15. You can do the same like this on various iPhones, iPad or iPod touch whether you have an old iPhone model or a new one. So I will show you how you can do that. Now first of all you need a jailbroken device. So I have currently jailbroken with a check range jailbreak. So if you have a another device and it support other jailbreak application like Uncover, Taurin, Camera or any other iOS version you are jailbroken, you can easily do this trick. Now first of all you need to go to the Cydia and search for Filza file manager. And I have already downloaded this file manager but you can simply install it. You have to just click on install and it will install it on your system. So just wait for it to get complete. Now after that just click on the return to Cydia. Now you are ready, the file manager is installed and you can see on the home screen. Now just go to the top section and click on that button and go to the root file system. Now from here you need to go to the specific directory to modify the iOS version. So first of all I will show you, I have changed my iOS version to the iOS 12.5.5 that is the original iOS version of this device with the same build number. So now as you can see, now I will change it to the latest iOS 15. So now first of all you need to go to the system, then library, scroll it down and you will get the core services. Now open that core services, now scroll it down and you will get the software version pleased file. So now the same directory you can just go down back, I will show you again, that is the system, then library, then core services and after that you can need to scroll it down and you will get the software version pleased file. Now after that open it, now you will get the root directory, just click on that and now you will get the iOS version, build number and the other important things. So now you can easily change that. Now first of all it's very important, do not modify anything if you don't know about that setting, just do the same thing I am doing. If you change some other settings and do some other modification to the system files, it may be do something wrong with your iOS system. Now you can just change the value of the iOS version, so currently it's 12.5.5. But you can change to the latest version that is the 15.1.1 and you can also modify the build version of that iOS. So I am going on to IPSW.com to see the exact build number of that iOS version. So you can just copy that and simply click on back and it will save the settings. So now we have changed the two fields, one is for iOS version and other is the product build. Now it's done, now close all the application, now go to the settings again and check the iOS version and this time you will see it will change the iOS version to the latest one or you have the iOS version set on the Filza file manager it will show there. So now as you can see it's showing the iOS 15.1.1 on my old iPhone 5s and the build number is also changed and matched with the latest 15.1.1. So that's how you can modify the iOS version and do the fake iOS version thing on any iPhone, iPad or iPod touch that support the jailbreak with any other application. So you can do that with the same process and make sure that do not modify other things otherwise it will create your problem in your iOS system. So I will see you guys in the next video. Until then goodbye, take care and peace out.